kind of you through how to do the first part of the proportion and scale project uh, for this week. So I've got on the right hand side over here the instructions and on the left hand side I've got Photoshop set up. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go into File and click uh, New. And then we want to open up a file that is 8 inches square. So I'll type in 8, 8, and then you want to have a resolution of 72, and the background should be white. So I'll hit OK. The next thing we want to do is we want to make sure that you have the rulers enabled. So if you go up to um, to view, just make sure you have the little check mark next to rulers, and that's these things right up here. Because the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to um, grid out our... Uh, our square into four equal sections. So if I go up to, uh, if I click on the tool brush right here, and then I'm going to go right up here and make sure that my size is set to four pixels and then my hardness is set to 100. Alright, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go with my cursor down here to where the four is right here. So I'm halfway uh, down my eight inch uh, square, I'm right on the four here, and I'm just going to click. I'm going to make sure I'm lined up with the 4, and I'm going to click right there, and then if I go all the way over to the other side, again, making sure that I'm lined up with the 4, and I hold down Shift, then I can click uh, my mouse key, and I have a nice straight line going across. So I'm going to do the same thing up at the top. I'm going to make sure that my cursor is lined up with the 4 up here, and press it down once, just click once, and then go all the way down to the bottom, again, making sure I'm lined up with that 4, hold down the shift and click and I have a nice straight line. Alright, so the next thing that we want to do is um, is we want to crop this to something that is 4 inches by 4 inches. So I'm going to click on my crop tool here and there are a couple of ways to do this. You could, one, you could just kind of try to drag your uh, uh, cursor so that you end up with a width and a height of 4 inches by 4 inches, um, which you're welcome to do that and you can get it pretty decently close. Um, or what you can do is you can go up here and um, right now you can see that I on the top of my screen it says uh, width times height times resolution. You want to make sure you're clicked onto that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to type in 4 for my width and 4 for my height and then a resolution of 72. And you want to make sure that this right here is uh, pixels per inch and not per centimeter. Alright, now what I can do is I can just kind of move this anywhere. It doesn't have to be exact, it can be pretty close. Um, and it doesn't really matter because it's going to automatically make it 4 inches by 4 inches. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag my, um, my uh, uh, divided set of four squares to something that I can get something kind of an interesting arrangement of this where I've got four non-equal sections now. So I'll try something like this and I'll hit crop and, um, and that seems fine for right now. So the first thing that I'm going to do now is I'm going to start adding in a shape to my largest section here. So I'm going to do mine with the uh, polygonal lasso tool. You can do yours with the brush or you can do it with any number of things. It doesn't really matter. It's up to you. So I'm going to go up here to this and I'm going to draw in a shape on here. So I'm just going to kind of make something. You just want to make sure it's, it's going to be best if it touches at least three sides. So I'm just kind of doing any kind of random thing here. I'll say that, and then I'm going to go up to my paint bucket right here, and I've got the black already down here, so I'm just going to click on that and fill that in. Alright, let me deselect that. Okay, next thing that we're going to do is I want to duplicate this image because I'm going to cut some things out of it. So I'm going to duplicate this, and I'm going to go to my duplicate image, and now I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just Let's see here. I guess I'll crop this guy out first. Oh, whoops. Hold on one second here. Got to make sure I clear this up at the top. If you don't clear this, then you're only going to be able to crop squares. 
So I'm gonna, now that that's clear, I can go back to this section here, and I'm just going to drag that down, and I'll crop to that. Okay. So now if I go back to my first image, what I want to do is I want to see how big this square right here, this rectangle right here is, because this is where I'm going to put my new shape. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, I can do this one of two ways. Again, I can kind of hold it like this, and I can read where the, um, the width and the height are, and that's what I'm going to do. Or what I can do is I can just crop this, and then I can go up to image, and then hit image size, and just to see how big it is. I want to make a note of how wide this is. So this is going to be 1.583 inches. I'm just going to round this up to, or round down to 1.58. So I'm going to hit cancel, and then I'm just going to go back and um, undo that. And now on this one, what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the size of it so that it fits into that new rectangle. So I think I said 1.58 on that. So I'm going to hit that. And then I'm going to copy this. And now I'm going to go back over here and paste it on. So then if I move on to my... I'm going to click on the arrow thing so I can move it around, and I'm just going to slide it right over into that spot. So now it fits in pretty nicely over there. So now I'm going to go back, and I'm going to kind of do the same thing again. I'm just going to hit undo on this and get back to where it was before. Okay. So I'm going to do, now I'm going to do this one right here, this next uh, smallest square. So I'm going to go to my uh, crop tool here. I'm just going to crop to this particular size. Right, size, see how big it is. So on here we want to know how high this is because we already have the width on that one. So this is 1.139. Maybe I'll say right. So I'm going to hit I'm going to go backwards again, and I'm going to go over to here, and I'm going to change the size of this on the height to, whoops, 1.139, and then I'm going to select it and copy it, and then paste it right into this one, so I'll go edit, paste, and then I'll make sure I'm clicked on that arrow again. I'm just going to drag them right over. And let's see here. Try to get them good and situated on there. All right, that'll work. And then, um, all right, let's do this last one here. So on this one, I'm going to go back to my crop tool. And I'm going to go start from this side over here. Kind of go over. size. We're just repeating the same thing that we did a minute ago. Um, so this is 1.139 by 1.583. Alright, let's change that now. check what that was over here. I think I did that one backwards. All right. Uh, let me get out of this. Cancel. Okay. So I'm going to go back and do this again from scratch. size 
again, 1.625 wide, 1.139 high. So now this is pretty much what you end up with um, when you do this assignment. So we're, all we're doing is we're taking one shape and we're changing the size of it uh, into these three other sections over here. All right, I'm going to uh, save this and then I'm going to close out and we'll start up the, um, the part two of this project. So for this one, you're just going to do this same kind of a thing, but three times total. Alright, so I'm just going to go up here and hit save, and then um, I'll be done with that. Alright.